I always get the boop. So, yep. This is a mic check. I have this running through. It's weird to have this on a large t screen, have my microphone like a normal recording session, but again, all I'm doing is with my cell phone, so it's weird to hold this thing in my hand and just have that be, again, one of my favorite sound effects, and I wish I could do it better. I mean, imitate it better. I, I do cocaine. I do cocaine. I can smell you. I can smell you. That's the Morgan Freeman type of parody. Andy Dufresne. I'm God. I can't do... I wish... With a voice like mine, I wish I could do more deep people voices. But yeah, especially... Who wouldn't want to speak like... Uh, like Mr. Freeman there? So you could just narrate everyone's life. Right now, I'm sitting in a room. Got some staff room on the wall. It's a comfortable job being a narrator. Where did I get that joke from? I think it was Family Guy, probably. Anyways, where's the random button? Let's have some fun with the random. Uh, random. Who let the dogs out? Who, who, who? Mainly, it was the lazy owner, and he was a hoarder. So there's so many uh, dogs, and they just got loose. And eventually, they ravaged the whole city. It destroyed it. And that's why we no longer know of Pensacola. Uh, Pensacola. Yes. I mean, the whole state got wiped out. So, a fun fact, there was once 51 states, but one state got wiped out by a hoarder of dogs. So, by the way, I forgot my... I need... Where's my whiskey? By the power of Grayskull. He, man. Fun fact, that was Donald Trump's original script for his inauguration. So... They felt it wouldn't go over well, but in my opinion, it's at least more, um, uh, how you say, less pessimistic than his doom and gloom one he actually gave. I mean, it would have been fantastic if that he just walked up, grabbed the giant sword, I have the power, and screw Mexico. Thank you! Anyways. <laughs> that was his third option, but that was just him clearing his throat. <laughs> uh, that was a great movie. I got nothing on that one. I need to... What was that one? Because I might have heard it in a... <coughs> because that does sound like porn music. Just imagine banging. You know, oh, is there some way I could pay for that pizza? Again, I know that sound like a perfect... A female voice, so. What does the fox say? Please don't kill me, I'm endangered. Please don't kill me, I'm endangered. Anyways, they're not endangered, but still. What the fox say? Why must the English hunt me? That's good. <laughs> what the fox say? Yeah! Something like that, I think, is usually what it sounds like. It reminds me, there, I had a varmint call growing up, and again, a varmint call is what you use to call in varmints now, you hear? Anyways, a uh, call in predators. And it sounds like a wounded rabbit, which sounds, if you do it right, like a, de a crying baby. So. Don't! Exactly. I mean, it's very nightmare inducing. Hey, Apple. Apple? Hey. Huh? That one's lost on me. Then again, I'm an old fogey. And they're off. Head by head. It's Obamacare. Fraud by Trump care. Ha ha ha. Political joke about them both failing and being turned into glue. Okay. Anyways, that's probably enough of this mic check. One more push. Why so serious? And we got a repeat. All right. I'll be back. I'm going to get drunk. Drunked. It's a new technical term. It's when you uh, get crunked and drunk at the same time. It requires a lot of uh, machinery that I don't have the time to tell you about. Mainly because I don't know what crunk means. <laughs>